What's up guys? This is Alan Pope, aka Real Alan Pope. And the reason that I'm so excited and I'm doing this video today is because I'd love to talk about those who believe they are entitled, that's just it, entitled to their opinion, to title themselves as, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, experts in this field, that field, marketing, cleaning, whatever, blah, 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 the list goes on. And hey, look, I've made this fun for the first 30 seconds or so, but let me tell you this. I appreciate literal positive comments, and if you want to give this video a thumbs up, it will help the channel, and if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. But I do not put up with negativity, just warning you. Anyway, so, I just got through talking to a guy on Fakebook. That's right, Fakebook. I call it a Fakebook. Some might be like, oh, that's negative. It's the truth! It's Fakebook! They tell you they're going to do one thing, and then they do another. It's fake. Anyway, so, <clears throat> if you guys want to hear about this social media platform you know what actually since it's on youtube and i don't really know how to message people yet <laughs> at least everyone i can message people that i'm subscribed to anyway i'm still learning i'll let you know how it goes but um yeah if you guys want to check out this platform it's called social media freedom and it's censorship Free. You know how you get tired of like all the crud that Mark Zuckerberg does with all these apps and you know servers and stuff like that the dude's got now? Well, never worry about it again. Just go download Social Media Freedom in the Google Play Store and you'll be happy. Anyway, so <clears throat> on to the topic at hand, which is people who are entitled. Um... People who call themselves experts and you tell them you're busy, you don't want to disrespect their time. I mean, you go so far as to tell them you're honest with them. Hey, look, I don't have time to talk with you on Facebook. I've got a business to run. You know what I mean? So, anyway... This guy proceeds to tell me how he's a marketing expert. I'm like, well, we know you ain't a communication expert because you just flunked. You got an F in class. Because I nicely stated a couple of times, and then I finally just had to stop talking to the guy because he kept disrespecting my time. Obviously, he's not a marketing expert because a marketing expert <clears throat> wouldn't be so desperate to get a potential client to make money. A marketing expert is an expert at marketing, which means generating leads. So therefore, that marketing expert, why is he going to waste his valuable time that he can never get back? Continuing to message me when I said, look dude, I don't have time to talk with you today, but I'll try and talk to you, you know, soon. We'll just have to schedule a call. He's like, whoa, you must be doing some big things. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm living life, and I'm loving it. So, <clears throat> done with the topic. But I'd like to let you guys know that I've had some very, very good things happen. Um, so, I shared, uh, I shared the love, basically, like, you know, on social media posts uh, of different businesses. You know, if you can share it, share it. That's what I did. If you can, um, if you can comment on it, you know what I mean. Say something nice. The right person who owns the business will appreciate that so much, like so much that I, I, I wish I had like you know one of those old timey pictures. Be like, look, look, I was at their spa and I enjoyed a VIP complimentary that's right because I am slowly becoming a better communicator which is better than a marketer 
when you communicate with people well, you show people that you care about them, you're going to do better than the average person. It's a fact because I barely spent much time helping promote that spa and she's like, oh, you're so nice to like promote my business. How about you come in for a free VIP treatment, you know, of uh, a massage therapist. And I was like, yeah, because my muscles are aching. And so I went and I enjoyed the massage. Um, yeah, when I when I first got in there, I don't I don't know what the the girl thought. She's like, "Are you a customer? Or like, what is this?" Because we were talking about me and the the manager of that clinic. Uh, the owner actually has three clinics, so who knows? Maybe she has some other service I can try. You know, once she sees that it's going to pay off for her business, because I went in and I was like, "All right, guys." We're going to take pictures of me laying on the bed. You know, of course, covered. But, like, it's going to help you, like, increase sales. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't say that. But, you know, obviously, when you see someone enjoying a service, you're like, oh, well, wow. You know, it's not very common somebody enjoys a service or somebody enjoys a product. Wow. You know, I'm going to try that company out. So, that's what happened. I, you know, I told them, like, hey, look, take pictures this way. They took pictures the way I asked. And then we were supposed to do, like, a video interview, but we didn't get to do a video interview because of the time, you know what I'm saying? The time. I tapped my wrist, but, you know, I dropped this cell phone, and you'd be like, where'd he go? Yeah. But, anyway. <clears throat> so, I had fun today. Even though it rained and it screwed up my window cleaning day. It's all right. You just got to be positive. You know, I went. I got a massage. I did a nice little video I'm going to upload. Probably not to YouTube. Or I might. I don't know. But I'm going to upload it online anyway. So you'll be able to find me. <clears throat> don't worry. Um, so I'm going to share <clears throat> um, the video I made of me. Like, coming out of her building, because the building is just, like, poorly situated to where nobody knows she's there. Like, even all that promoting on fake book, still nobody knows she's there. I mean, it's like... So it's a good thing she reached out to me and it's like, Hey, you're, like, promoting me and you're not even getting paid. What's up with that? So I know. You know, I just figured I might as well try a different approach <clears throat> to business. Help someone get what they want first, and then you'll get what you want. I need tons and tons of cleaning clients. So, voila. And who knows? This promotional stuff could lead into me doing just marketing. Which I'm okay with that. I mean, I really do like my cleaning business, you know what I mean? I worked hard for it been in it for six years i don't want to just throw it away but anyways hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'm just like talking now with nothing to say so i gotta go bye bye